World-Changing Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 443. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our September 19th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is world changing cooperatives. And what the heck is that? Well, from our perspective, a world changing cooperative is a group of teacher demonstration hubs working together around the world to create a world that works for everybody and cooperating, collaborating on creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for achieving that. And everything that you see in the background of this video is what we've been developing for the last decade to achieve that goal, to create that, to be the first, to prototype the initial community to begin the initial teacher demonstration hub designed to produce and demonstrate what is possible and to produce all the open source tools and resources and do yourself instructions for replication so that others can build communities as well and become a part of this cooperative. And so we're developing everything necessary for that, the food, the energy, the housing infrastructure, but also the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good, what we call highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to economics and true earth stewardship. And putting all this together, the physical as well as the emotional aspects to demonstrate what we call an evolution of sustainability and to provide a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And we know that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so that is our core mission. You know, and our values revolve around this idea of like, what is for the highest good of all? Like, what is the best that we can do to create and live for the highest good of all people in life on this planet? You know, and what is open source is another core value and sustainability. Like, how can we open source everything that we're doing so it can be replicated even easier? And how can we uh, design as sustainably as we possibly can with global implementation in mind? And so through this, we're creating the foundations of world changing cooperatives. You know, people that want to come together and create a better world for everybody because we can and creating environments that totally support people so that they have the time and monetary resources to do that. So that their bills are eliminated, so that their most of the stresses of life have been addressed so that we can work together, cooperate, collaborate and create a space for others of like mind to come together and create a better world that will benefit us all. And so everything you see happening in the background of this video are the designs, the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the open source plans and designs that we've created to achieve that. And one community is designed to be the place to demonstrate how amazing and how ultra sustainable we can truly live when we cooperate and collaborate instead of compete with one another. When we throw out the old paradigm of everyone for themselves and instead say, how can we work together to create a better world for ourselves, for our friends, our family, for each other, you know, locally, regionally, nationally, internationally, globally, like how do we bring the human organism together, you know, our, this, this family that is humanity to work together to support all of us and build world changing cooperatives around that idea. And so the teacher demonstration hubs that we're designing that have those physical foundations, all the emotional foundations, they're designed to demonstrate a way of living that most people will find better than the way they're living right now so that people can get involved. And we're open sourcing and free sharing everything as individual components so that they can be replicated for people that don't want to do the complete model, as well as the complete model for people that say, hey, I would like to demonstrate a completely different way of living. I would like to throw out the old paradigm of what work life looks like. I'd like to be able to, you know, walk to most of the things that I want to do. I'd like to have my my friends and my family close all the time. If I want to play a pickup game of soccer, I'd like to be able to just say, hey, this is what I'm doing and have a community of people around me to draw from that might be interested in that as well so that we can just go do that. 
You know, if I want to run a book club, if I want to uh, learn a new language, if I want to learn anything new, you know, so that you're surrounded by others that can participate in that with you. And our whole social architecture is designed around that. So it's integrated in with it. And so that people will have more free time to do that and everything being free resources are no longer an issue like all of it is included within the environment and the free time is created because we collaborate and cooperate on things like daily uh, routine type of stuff like getting food like uh, going to the grocery store like childcare, laundry you know housekeeping house cleaning that kind of stuff working together cooperating collaborating so that those things can be done more efficiently is groups and a great example is like preparing food. You know, most people spend a fair amount of time preparing food, unless you're just going and buying food all the time, like prepared food, you know, fast food. And in that case, you know, there's a health issue and quality control and that kind of stuff that might be want to be considered. And so we looked at it and said, well, how can we produce the healthiest food possible? Locally grown, grown without poison, no pesticides, no herbicides, no fungicides, you know, including more diversity than what we can get in the grocery store because there's lots of things that you can grow, you know, that don't do well on the shelf. But if you're growing them fresh, you can eat them and have that available to you, you know, and then what does it look like to have have two or three members of the community that are dedicated, that really love cooking, that want to spend their time cooking and preparing amazing, amazing meals. And so that other people that might enjoy taking care of other aspects of community life could handle those aspects. And so through cooperation and collaboration, we can do that and we can prepare, you know, amazing five star meals if we want to put our time and energy into that. You know, and in return, that person's having their laundry done for them, you know, and they're not worrying about dish doing their dishes, you know. And so the idea is that really, you know, two or three or four people can produce, can cook enough food for 50 people, you know, versus the inefficiency of the everyone for themselves paradigm where right now most people are just cooking food for themselves and their families. And so that's like one tiny, tiny example of what's possible. And when you apply this idea of working together, to grow food, to build your housing, to establish a completely sustainable environment, to run it as an ecotourism destination that generates enough revenue to take care of people's bills and to be able to expand indefinitely. World-changing cooperatives, we think, is an idea whose time has come. And so we're here to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate what's possible within that environment so that other people can take what we're creating and replicate it and so other people will want to take what we're creating and replicate it so that we can start establishing this global cooperative and collaborative of organizations to create even more tools and tutorials and resources and do-it-yourself instructions to create even more options for people so that everybody, there's something for everyone. And so, and one community is designed to create that as well. Something for everyone just with the first community. It doesn't require a global cooperative to do this because we're designing everything to be individually implemented as individual components as well as the complete teacher demonstration hub you know and so maybe somebody's just interested in our open source education program you know or maybe somebody's just interested maybe somebody's not interested in the community life aspect everything i just said like oh my gosh i definitely don't want to do that that sounds crazy it sounds like a lot of work i just want to do my own thing great maybe somebody just wants to build their own you know guest house a sustainable you know earth bag guest home you know, maybe somebody just wants to plant something that they've never planted before. Maybe somebody will take one of our menu items that we're developing and wants to just cook a meal that they've never cooked before, you know. And so everything designed to be implemented is either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub model and one community demonstrating what's possible with the complete demonstration model so that we can create this world-changing cooperative and uh, a collaborative of world-changing cooperatives working together to create a better world for everybody. This is a path to a better world. This is a path that we see as demonstrating a way of living that most people will find better than the way they're living right now. And in achieving that, making it easy enough, affordable enough, attractive enough, we could transform this planet. We can create a sustainable world. We're capable as a species of doing this. And now probably, for well, now definitely for the first time in history, we have the global communications and coordination collaboration technology to make this possible. And as an organization, we're already doing it. We have members of our team on every single continent, except for Antarctica. We've had over 600 volunteers contribute to our organization. We're a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. We put in tens of thousands of hours into creating everything that you see on our website and all the designs and everything, and we're moving forward to create this, to build this so that people can see it and experience it.
this is where I'm up to. So with that said, I've gone over my time. Thanks for watching to the end. Check out our written blog if you'd like to see the specifics of everything that our team has, has accomplished in the last week. Stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to watch, uh, see bullet points on each of the major components of our project. And um, yeah, thanks for watching to the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on, keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.